What's good, what's good, what's good? So y'all seen right. The truck is in the shop. It's been crazy, y'all. It's been crazy. Your boy can't catch a break. I can't catch a break, man. The truck in the shop. You see me. I'm at the Hilton. At least I'm at the Hilton. You feel me? And uh, yeah, it's been a ride. It's been a ride. It's about a week and a half from what y'all thought it was gonna be. And uh, yeah, we about to get into this shit. You know, out of all the things that go wrong in life and in the world, there's one thing that I can lean on. There's one thing that no matter what happens, I can always, you know, bring myself, center myself to realize. And let me tell you what that is. Come in, bring it in. No matter what happens, I'm still the motherfucking man. Welcome to vlog two. Hey yo, I'm not even gonna lie. I used to call myself an ugly you, but I'm not even an ugly you. I'm a sexy you, you understand? Girl all over the globe wanna up me, you understand? Girls in my crib, zero Snapchat, zero Instagram, boo, sing, fuck up the vibe, my dick, start falling like London Bridge. I don't care if I saw you in a magazine or if you're on TV, that one don't mean nothing to me. It's good vlog number two. It's been a lot, a lot, a lot of shit that has happened within the last week and a half. This vlog right here is gonna be like a two week vlog. It's a lot of footage missing. It's a lot of good shit that didn't happen. A lot of bad shit that didn't happen. It's just a lot, bro. And, and it probably not gonna even seem like a lot when me explaining it. But it's a lot. And so what I'm going to do is narrate this whole thing for you to, like, fill in the gaps. And then we're going to start from where we are now until, like, probably Monday or Tuesday. Then I'm going to end the vlog and hopefully be able to keep this going because, uh, I don't know, y'all. So it all started in Utah. Oh, yeah. You see this little guy right here swooping down like he's Superman or somebody? Remember him. More on him later. I'm currently on my 34 in Utah, about to go pick up in South Salt Lake, Utah, and I'm about to head to, I forgot the name of the city, but I'm about to head to Minnesota. So this morning I woke up, I did uh, like $2,780 or so on today for trading. That puts the account at $4,000. $888, so I'm about to do a trade breakdown for you guys, then I'm gonna go fuel, and we're gonna make our way to Minnesota. It's a little bit under 1,200 miles, so we starting the week off good. See y'all down the road, let's get it, man. So of course I didn't catch my first huge winner for the day, which was for $1,940, but I did catch this loser for $200, which brought me down to $1,740 for the day. Now don't get on me for this next trade. I did press screen record late, too focused in on it, but it was an anticipated order block move. I didn't wait for the confirmation, which I should have, but it ended up going in my favor. I took eight contracts on this in the micros, and I ended up making $1,040, which brought me to $2,780 for the day, which brought the account up to a little bit over 4,000. Now we about to head to Minnesota. See y'all down the road. Ooh, 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 ooh. If I could, I'd give you the world. I'd wrap it all around you. Won't be sad. 
y'all. I don't know if y'all can hear me due to this wind out here, but we in South Dakota. Picked up in Utah on the way to Minnesota. But your boy hit a fire trade this morning, so I'm about to do a trade breakdown. We passed the account. We about to get it in, about to ride off, continue to ride to Minnesota, but I'm about to give you the trade breakdown real quick. I'll see y'all on down the road. All right, so y'all heard me say that I passed the account, so let me show y'all what happened. Basically, this was an inverted imbalance right here that I got in. And I got in it uh, for five contracts. That's what my long and short two said I can get in it for. So we got in and my exit was those equal highs up there at the top. So here you're gonna see me bring my stop to break even. Then it's gonna go up and I'm gonna take off three contracts, let the other two ride. And so I trailed the last two then got stopped out. And so this second trade, I forgot to record, but I basically got in on a sell side imbalance and rolled it down. And you can see the account is sitting at $5,641. And of course we need 6,000 to pass, so you know your boy wasn't gonna stop right there. So I got in on this buy side imbalance right there, just got tapped in, four contracts. And I'm just riding it up to uh, those highs right there, trying to get the rest of this pass for the day. And here we are, you see we about to hit the target and I ended up passing with $6,020. Alright, so as y'all see, I passed the account. The things that it didn't show, the things that I probably should have got on camera, but I just didn't. So that scene where I was bagging up the truck, I got attacked completely by yellow jackets. Everywhere I went, there was yellow jackets. Like every time I parked, there was yellow jackets all the way around. So basically, yeah, I got chased around that whole, that whole complex, warehouse, whatever the fuck you want to call it, by yellow jackets. And it was horrifying. Look at me in my eyes. It was horrifying. I, after that, I went from Utah to Minnesota, and I went from Minnesota to Amarillo, Texas. But it's currently Saturday. I'm at Pilot, about to take a shower. So for you non-truckers, I get questions from friends and family all the time, like, how do y'all take showers? How do y'all do laundry? So I'm not gonna do laundry today, but I am gonna take a shower, and I'm gonna run you through the point system. So the way the point system works is, Every 50 gallons that you fuel at Pilot or Flying J, specifically at least, you get one shower and you also get points that equate to those gallons of fuel that you got. And you can go spend those points anywhere in the truck stop, um, get food, electronics, uh, snacks, whatever you want out of the truck stop with those points. And you also can get the free shower. The shower is separate from the points. And so that's... The odds of you running out of the shower is very low out here because you're constantly fueling up throughout the week. And so I'm going to hop into the app, show you how all of that works, book the, book the shower through the app, you'll see how that works. And then hopefully this is a decent shower. It's honestly a coin toss most of the time on whether it's going to be a good shower or not, but we're going to see when we get in here. I'm currently on the load from Minneapolis, Minnesota to Amarillo, Texas. And like I said, right now I'm currently in Iowa, so we're going to take this shower, get something to eat, and then we're going to head on down the road to do this 34 before this load is due. Since Monday is Labor Day, this load isn't due until Tuesday. So we're about to knock all of this out. See you on the other side. So this is the Pilot Flying J app, and as you can see, your boy is currently making four points per gallon yes sir so that 947 points equates to nine dollars and 47 cents that's how that works and you can see gallons this month i done did one thousand three hundred and forty six dollars and thirty one cents worth of gallons and that's 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 a good group so i got nine showers currently and you will see that i reserved it and that i am currently number one in line 
I'm gonna get 69. So now I'm shower four is ready and my door code is 41002. And you're gonna see me put it in right here. So this is a pretty nice one, look like it. Let's figure out how to turn this light on. You always gotta hit the fan. Alright, if you can. There we go. So this is the shower. Plenty of space. showers that go around. Now honestly, they're usually not this big. They can be, but uh, they especially usually don't have two shower heads. So this is a nice one. I'm about to hop in the shower, get all this funk off me, and get something to eat. We can roll out. When I got to Amarillo, Texas, start feeling this feeling in my throat. <coughs> I might still have it. I was feeling this feeling in my throat. I was like, damn, bro, I feel, I feel a little crazy. I feel a little woozy out here. First, I thought it was food poisoning because I caught food poisoning for the first time earlier, earlier this year from Taco Bell. Never again eating Taco Bell. I felt that feeling. In my in my throat, and I'm like, damn, what's that? Bro? I'm getting, I might be getting sick. And I got this thing where y'all see me get in the shower. I got this thing where when I get in the shower, if I'm in the shower too long, and I'll be in the shower for like two hours. If I'm in the shower too long, and the steam get to going crazy in there, I get allergies and shit going crazy. Like I'll be sick for like two days. First I thought it was that, I thought it was the shower. But then the next day I started coughing and shit. And I started like doing little tasks. I worked out that day. This is what I was doing. I was taping it for the vlog. I was taping my little workout for the vlog. And I got up feeling fat as hell. Try being my size, Amy. You don't know how it is. There's stuff you can do. You Just wanna be a big it. baby about everything. I ain't baby. You're the damn baby. Grow the up. You first. Bitch, I've been grown. I pay my bills. My bills are paid. And I'm like, damn. And I realized, I'm like, bruh, I got I know I had, because I had like three times, and I didn't get the jab. I don't know if I should say on this. I had the C-19 word. I done had that three times, so I know what it feel like. And I was sick as a, I wasn't sick as a dog, I'm lying. But I was fucked up, though. I was fucked up for like a I'm still fucked up. But I was fucked up for a while, like a couple of days. So I couldn't vlog at all. My next load was from Alabama to Utah. They booked your boy on that nice low. Oh my God, my pockets would have been nice. Do you hear me? Look me in my eyes. My pockets would have been nice on that low. You feel me? So I was happy. And then... The truck started, the truck caught C-19. The thing started irking and jerking. It just, it just gave up on me. And I found out it was the transmission. And so that's why I am where I am now. You see me at the shop. And now I'm at a Hotel Hilton. Oh, let me, hold on. Scratch that. Let me tell you about this story. So I'm at the shop. My company called me. I'm not going to tell you my company because this is a good company. It's a good company. But my company called me and they was like, we got to get you to this other truck in Kearney, Nebraska. So we're going to get you a rental car and you're going to drive 
18 hours to Kearney, Nebraska to pick up the truck. Enterprise called me like, hey, hey, bro, you you can't get a full size sedan. We got the little mini joint for you. What? Come on, bro. I'm not the biggest dude in the world, but I'm about I'm about six two. You feel me? Like you know what I'm saying? About two hundred. I'm one sixty seven. I'm one sixty seven, but I lift like I'm two hundred though. You feel me? This man solid, black Superman. Like. <laughs> mm hmm. Power of the gods. Go. Come on. Hit out. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Don't get it twisted. So I'm like, you want me to get in the mini? In the mini? Like, I ain't know what mini meant for one thing. I'm like, the mini Cooper or something? So I'm like, I scratched that. That's all. We gotta figure something else out. So they like, we're gonna get you a plane. We're going to get you a plane to Kearney. I'm like, cool, we can do that. Be like, we're going to get you a hotel for the night. Or actually, we're going to get you a motel for the night. And it's going to be super eight. So the dude come over from the maintenance shop. Bless his heart. That's what that's what old black women say when they feel me. That's what old people say about you. something wrong with you. Bless your heart, ain't it? <laughs> you ever be in church somebody got an ugly baby? Your grandma walk from nowhere. Is that your baby? <laughs> Bless his heart. He hit me up. He like, hey, bro, what motel you said you staying at? When you get to that joint, make sure you go in, close, lock the door, and you shut the lights off. And I'm like, what you mean, bro? Like, nah, we not doing none of that. I'm like, it's ratchet like that? He was like, bro, it's ratchet. And I'm like, he probably over-exaggerated. So I look up the reviews. The reviews, like, man, I thought a dead dude was in front of my door, but it was a homeless person, and they doing drug deals, and they got prostitutes everywhere. And I'm like, come on, bro. I hit up my boy at the company, like, hey, bro, y'all can't do me like this. I know I'm from, I know I'm from Memphis, you know what I'm saying? That's the hood or whatever, but I can't do that. And they like. Just don't talk to nobody. And I'm like, nah, bro, that's what we not gonna do. I was like, you know what, bro? I'm going to pay for my own hotels. And I thought I was tripping at first, but I I hit up my homeboy, Corey. And I'm like, bro, am I tripping? And he was like, nah, bro. He was like, bro, look, and this is a lesson. This is my little, this is my little rant, my little rant lesson for the vlog. He was like, bro, we grew up in Memphis, Mississippi area. When we get less than, we like, we cool with this because this is how it, it's always been. Like, nah, bro, we next level now. There's no reason why we should accept less than just because of where we came from. We should look at it as where we are now. You know what I'm saying? So shouts out to my boy Corey because I was like, okay, you just justify your boy getting the heel to. And so this is where we are now. So y'all going to catch me in the morning. Y'all going to see me in the airport. Y'all going to see me on the layover. And then y'all going to see me in Kearney. This vlog is probably going to end on Monday. When I take my first trade, I'm gonna do a trade breakdown, end it with the trade breakdown. We passed the account, we at $850 for the week, and we good, you feel me? We good, we good. One out of four days lost, we on point, man. I'm gonna see y'all in the morning. I need to get some shut eye, probably eat on this cheesecake, and we gonna see y'all in the morning. Peace. I'm up, about to head out, I'm about to head to the airport. I'm tired. That's a mile. I was able to fit everything in that bag. I gotta get to the airport. Oh man, I hate this.
about rags to riches, more about how I master physics In a game I used to train like Rocky, catching chickens I was nice but they was right when they told me that rapper business I had 10 bands in my stash when I passed over half a million Come easy, no good, don't be surprised I'll last these niggas It's like they put out a smash then they go in a flash and admit it And then they make tracks and this is like that's gonna add up to this So I made it to Kearney, Nebraska to pick up my truck and uh, this is what I'm working with. Ugh. Brother, ugh. what's that? What's that, brother? So you already know, I'm pissed the fuck off. I went and bought some cleaning supplies. So let me see what I can do with this bitch. I'm tired, man. I'm tired. Good morning. So little update, I cleaned the truck up as good as I could. You could tell that whoever was in here before is nasty as a motherfucker, but it is what it is. I cleaned it up as good as I could. I'm picking up right now in Lincoln, Nebraska, headed to Ogden, Utah, and then more than likely from Ogden to Georgia. So that's what'll be starting the next vlog. As far as trading goes this morning, I woke up, traded Micro's first trade, made like $320, which brought the account up to 1,200 in five trading days using three Micro's. Beautiful. I was feeling good, went to take a shower, came out. My homeboy called me like, hey, bro, I hit big. So he hit good. And that enticed me, I'm not going to lie. I shouldn't have let it. It's not his fault. I shouldn't have let it, but it enticed me to hop back in. And I switched it to minis, and I shouldn't have done that. First trade was good. I made like $120 or something, so I was sitting on like 540 brought the account up even more but then i went on tilt next thing you know i'm down 1200 my account was in the negative 400 dollars from being up a thousand that's the difference between switching for me and so i ended up getting it back don't make it good but i ended up making it back and ended up ending the day four hundred and forty dollars i think it was so now the account is sitting at like 1290 i learned my lessons and now i'm going back to micros and back to slow rolling this account i told all my trading homies look if you do good for the day just let me know you had a great day don't tell me the amount of nothing because i'm still not in the mental head space in order to not let it affect me you know what i'm saying so I called all my trading homeboys today and told them that. So that's what's going on. I'm about to do this trade breakdown for you guys, let you know I actually made that trade when I made it back. I made it on the phone. So I'm going to go over this trade breakdown, and that'll be the end of the vlog. I'll see you next on this load, dropping it off in Ogden, Utah. Appreciate y'all for watching. Make sure you like. Make sure you subscribe. The least all I ask you to do, especially if you're family or friend and you support me, just like, subscribe if you're not subscribed, and leave a comment. I don't care what it is. If you liked it, let me know what you like. If you got some criticisms, let me know what you think I can do better. Down below, comment, and just like and comment, man. Like and comment, get my engagement up, trying to grow this thing up. Appreciate y'all for all y'all support. Peace out.